70% of what I had on there happened really? already. And that was three years ago. Yeah. Hello and welcome my beautiful Scorpio minds. Today I am not alone, but I'm joined by beautiful Jess. Hello. <laughs> We're first gonna make a super easy recipe video for you just to show how like just throw easy everything is in this. Yeah, <laughs> just throw everything together in a pan. We're just gonna quickly show it to you and then after be excited for a mukbang. <laughs> and we're gonna Do you have a mukbang on your channel? Or I think I have like one or two or something. Okay. Oh, I thought but it was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's gonna be nice because we have a topic which like really resonates with me recently and with you too. So yeah, yeah let's get right ahead into the recipe first. <laughs> let's start with the couscous. Add around 250 grams or however much couscous you want to a bowl. Add a little bit of veggie stock for the flavor and then drain it in hot water until it's all covered and a little bit more because the couscous is soaking up a lot of water. In the meantime, cut up two cloves of garlic into small pieces, add them to a pan, add the juice of half a lemon, and I just threw everything together into the pan like straight away, so that makes 200 grams of chickpeas, around 140 grams of canned artichokes, and 100 grams of olives. I rounded it all off with paprika powder, some pepper, and also some onion powder. The artichokes and the olives already give so much flavor, so you don't need to have like that much more. Add a little bit of tomato sauce and then bring it all to a simmer and you don't really have to cook it for that long because all of the ingredients are already cooked so just heat it up and you're ready to plate. I like speeches because we're so hungry mm -hmm. and I just want to eat right mm -hmm. now but we kind of have to entertain you <laughs> I know it's hard Is this your dinner or is it, are you going to have something else for dinner? Um, I'm having yoga later so maybe yeah. after yoga mm -hmm. like a little snack but mm -hmm. nothing too crazy mm -hmm. Anyway, we wanted to talk about like positive mindset because as you probably know, if you've seen my video, I was kind of struggling with it for like one day. <laughs> yeah. But then after talking about it, I felt so much better. So mm. I think just sharing all your feelings that are yeah. deep down inside and just let them out for once in a while and yeah. just like cry about it or yeah. whatever. Yeah. It's just so much better. It's true. Like it's, it's kind of the same for me. Um, you know, sometimes you ask yourself, why are you feeling that way? You should be like super happy, you're in such a great place. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're lucky that you are where you are. And yeah. But sometimes it's just not possible. And then I also get into like those very bad lows and how I deal with that is I either way don't. I, you know, I, I kind of feel like I can't breathe because it's like, you know, oh, it's like too inside? overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. too overwhelming that I don't know what's happening to me. And then yeah. after a while, like I, I get so emotional that the people around me kind of suffer because of me. Like, for example, my boyfriend just mm -hmm. gets everything and he's like, why is what's happening? And okay. I don't know if I really understand. Exactly. And he feels happening. like it's his fault. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my God, it's not your fault, yeah. but I just don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and I had this last week and then I just, I started talking a lot and I started writing it down. Mm -hmm. I started writing a text just like on a note. Writing it down is so powerful as well. Yeah. And it's I started like, recording yeah. myself as well, like on oh, Instagram. Really? It's just like, you know, this mm. is okay that you're feeling this way and mm. whatever. It's so yeah. great. I got so many comments and 
messages and whatnot on like the specific things I said mm -hmm. and that I shared my vulnerability mm -hmm. because so many people don't do it and they try to keep up with that happy positive thing and I think it's not you, I man. did too because then it put so much pressure on myself yeah. that I just yeah. couldn't handle it anymore and it kind of burst out. The problem is also if you're a public person, mm -hmm. you on, on Instagram you share a lot, right? You're constantly there trying to mm -hmm. create content and be that positive person, but mm -hmm. sometimes it's not possible, possible <laughs> and it's completely okay. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the people that are vul vulnerable and do share their feelings you do it because it helps you, but you also mm -hmm. kind of want to help others and be like, hey, it's okay to mm -hmm. feel have that feelings. Way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Even if you can't explain them. I, I'm can't. so bad at explaining things, like basic things. And then when it comes to explaining my feelings or what, or what my thoughts are, I'm just so bad at it. Mm. And it's bad for the people that are surrounding me, mm. <laughs> especially for like boyfriends or whatever. Mm. Sometimes it's just like, I don't know, it's like that super chaos yeah. in my head and then I just need time for myself to figure it all out and then like something like that video happened where I just like talked about everything that kind of came to my mind. What what exactly, because I didn't see it, mm -hmm. but what exactly was it that you that you were mentioning? What was like the... I don't really remember that much. <laughs> I know that, because you don't, no. yeah. <laughs> no, but it was because mm, I put so much pressure on myself Mm. And I had all that thing with my job because like I'm a freelancer mm. and I don't have like a regular income and I don't know what's happening next month mm. pretty much. So I got kind of scared of that and then because mm. we booked a flight to Bali and then I was like, can I really afford it? Like, can okay. I, am I allowed to go or okay. should I work? And like just everything came together basically. So you kind of, kind of the same like me, you don't allow yourself some downtime. Yeah, yeah. And then like, it all I need comes to hustle up. and I need to do more mm. because like next month what's gonna happen mm. and yeah. I exactly know what you mean. It's yeah. like not having or allowing yourself a break because then mm. nothing's really happening and it's wrong. I think that's the problem about being a freelancer. Like mm -hmm. I quit my job almost seven months ago because of the reason that I just like you hated mm -hmm. the job i had a burnout or i felt mm -hmm. like i was gonna have a burnout mm -hmm. i cried a lot i was depressed i was unhappy same same <laughs> for you yeah. yeah um but you know the great thing about having a normal job is that you have you have a job you come home and usually you, you are down. you shut down and you have the weekends as a freelancer you don't exactly have weekends. as a freelancer and especially if you're in the beginning of building up something great mm -hmm. and i mean we, we i'm pretty sure we both are very ambitious and yeah. we're creating something mm -hmm. great um it feels like you can never stop working mm -hmm. because there's always and you do you compare yourself to others as well you see other people on instagram or whatever and you like and that person my friends like they're i i think i were, i already told that in the video too um, that I see my friends who are doing so great mm -hmm. and who have like all those jobs and whatever mm -hmm. and then I'm like but I also well, said that, to me, yeah. that probably they s look the same way exactly. at me like mm -hmm. I do at them so it's just all in your head it's a lot of things in your head yeah, yeah. and I know that everything's gonna turn out and everything's mm -hmm. gonna be fine it's mm -hmm. like it has always been like that mm -hmm. like why should it change we have mm -hmm. friends we have family we can like I could go back to my parents mm -hmm. in no time if everything Same. goes down mm -hmm. that's like, what i did yeah that's what i did for half a year mm -hmm. and now i just moved to berlin because yeah. i was like okay i need to yeah, start new mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um so i think we we can consider ourselves pretty lucky that we can always go back to our parents because oh for sure not everyone has no. the luxury to do that mm -hmm. so yeah but it would I be think even worse if you would be yeah. on your own on your own mm -hmm. but sometimes it's it's not the fear like you know, because sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves and sometimes I feel like I don't want to disappoint my mom or, you know, whoever it's in my yeah, life. that we feel like we disappointed them just because we're moving yeah. back like, yeah. in with them or something. Yeah. But yeah, it's also just our perception probably. Mm. Mm. It's so bad, like everything mm. that's happening inside of our it's heads, head. yeah. we should focus more on like talking positive to mm. us because we have that bad voice or a lot of people or i don't know I do you have like or what what would you do now differently like to start a routine where you can say like okay this is like one hour a week 
mm -hmm. where I love myself, where I allow myself to feel what I feel, to do mm -hmm. something that has maybe nothing to do with whatever you're doing now. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's a good idea to maybe start implementing this. That would be nice, I yeah. guess. But for me, downtime is also training, working out, because mm -hmm. usually, yeah. When I have a bad day and then I go to training and I come out with like a smile because mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. love it so much. Mm -hmm. But that day I went to pole dance and I was annoyed by pole dance, so oh, it was wow. terrible. Then you oh, know it's awful. Kind of okay. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but pole dance is, or just like sports in general is a really good downtime yeah. for me. But maybe also just disconnecting from like the social media world mm -hmm. once in a while. Just put your phone away, read a mm -hmm. good book. Um, I did that and it really helped. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. nice, right? Mm -hmm. Because then you just focus on yourself, on your yeah. brain, on like building mm -hmm. like a different kind of Because thing. otherwise you're constantly connected mm -hmm. and, and you get input all the time. All the time, mm -hmm. yeah. So what I did as well is I said for two days I'm going to put my phone away. And I did and it yes. was amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean of course I would take pictures here and there but yeah. I would not post. I, I said to Instagram like bye I'm off for 48 mm -hmm. hours. And it was great because yeah. then... When I came back, I didn't crave it as much anymore. Oh, that's good. Because I feel like the more I spent on it, yeah. the more I crave being constantly on it, mm -hmm. you know? And the more I see more people and I compare myself and I feel bad because I didn't do this or... Mm -hmm. All the time. Mm -hmm. And so I would yeah, really Instagram suggest Instagram can be really good, but also really bad. Like before, right, yeah. not right now, but before, I was really comparing myself to others and really feeling down when I didn't get as mm. many likes as that person and it was really kind of getting to me now I changed so my one. perspective on mm. it totally mm. I like now I see it as a tool mm -hmm. as an inspiration as like sharing my feelings by whatever and I can do with others you. and connecting with others how cool is that I mean we kind of also met through the internet mm -hmm. right you can meet it's so like many great I people. met all my friends through the internet mm. pretty much it's mm. crazy it's mm. so awesome so yeah, look at the good things on Instagram and just you need to yeah, balance it out. Balance yeah. it out for and sure. when it feels like it's too much, nothing's gonna happen if you turn off your phone for a while. Nothing's what's gonna happen. It's the fear that everything's yeah, everything's gonna go away. You don't it's have just, any followers anymore. Yeah, it's just I feel like our society. Yeah, our society mm -hmm. puts like this pressure on us that we constantly need to be better. Mm -hmm. We constantly need to improve and mm -hmm. do better and develop and whatever like it starts you have to go to school you have to study you have to get a job right away and you if have you to don't, get your good failure. degrees yeah it's like yeah if you don't get an a or whatever it's like but what if you don't want to study or maybe you know you want to be self-employed but no one tells you this mm -hmm. in school no one wants you to be self-employed i don't it's i don't remember it's part of the system exactly and they train you to become part of the system and work for the yeah. system yeah <laughs> And if you break out, they make it kind of hard. Mm -hmm. Like at the freelance, mm -hmm. it's really hard. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but it's good to think differently mm -hmm. and not let anyone drag Tell you me, into yeah. what you want, don't want to do. I mean, it's, it can be hard, it's scary and stuff, but it's definitely worth it. I think because you grow it's so much yeah. from it. Yeah, you do. You do. I mean, we both have the comparison now of working in a company mm -hmm. and working for yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you really are very passionate about what you do, other people will notice it, other people will see it, and it, it will come to you mm -hmm. automatically if you just mm -hmm. put the passion and the work mm -hmm. into it. But it's of course, a little like law of attraction. Like mm -hmm. if you work for it, if you envision yeah. it, if you live like you already have it, mm -hmm. things are gonna come. <laughs> so it's, true. It's so true, but mm -hmm. it's so hard. I struggle with it so much. Of course, but, but you, you do you're work. aware of it. Mm -hmm. You're aware of it and the fact that you're aware of it, you're already working on it. Mm. Because if you weren't aware of it, then you would do things without a plan. Mm -hmm. But you, I mean, I did the same. I'm not always thinking about law of attraction every single day. Mm -hmm. I started think like I started looking into it maybe like two years ago, three years okay. ago. And crazy because three years ago, I remember I was in France. Fr France? Yeah, probably. Mm. And I... I made like a map or like a screen, how do you say it, like a desktop saver thing? Oh, desktop, yeah, yeah, yeah. desktop wa wallpaper. That. And I, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I did like like um, like a visual board. Oh, nice. So of my goals, mm -hmm. where I want to be in how many years yeah. or whatever. So I had like a few pictures here and there. 
and I have to say that 70% of what I had on there happened really? already and that was three years ago yeah and it's like what that's so good yeah so I do really really believe that it's possible mm -hmm. that every dream that you set yourself if you really really want it mm -hmm. you can do it mm -hmm. but you can't have it tomorrow no it takes it's, time it's a journey for sure <laughs> it takes time yeah but i really do believe it can happen i'm also listening to a lot of podcasts with like famous people who achieved their goal and they talk about how they achieved it and mm -hmm. where they came from and sometimes mm -hmm. it's like so crazy they start mm -hmm. from zero from nothing from mm -hmm. like a total different world mm -hmm. but just by hustling by envisioning it by working for it by kind of feeling and they don't have excuses no 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 they just do mm -hmm. it like mm -hmm. hardcore non-stop <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but they just they have the feeling that they are already there mm -hmm. because they're working so hard to get there so eventually mm -hmm. they get there because like all their senses all their whatever is already they envision set. it already yeah. yeah have you read the alchemist by paulo coelho i don't think so no you have to read it. i think i have that book oh yeah it's like one of my favorite books out there because it kind of um like i think everyone can interpret it in a different way mm -hmm. and there are a few negative opinions about it but i really like the book because it shows you that in order to get to your goal sometimes you will have to do other things that might not mm -hmm. directly lead to it yet mm -hmm. but eventually you will get there because if it's really in your mind still and this is all you want mm -hmm. the sad things will happen and w will probably be part of the journey mm -hmm. and are needed in order to get you there that is so crazy because I told you yesterday I was meeting up with a friend and he kind of said the same thing. Really? <laughs> but we were talking about becoming or like losing all of the states, like becoming just one world without mm -hmm. nationalities and mm -hmm. stuff and like all friendly without like weapons and wars mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And he said the same thing that we eventually will get there, mm -hmm. but maybe the steps we have to take will be counter intuitive. Yeah because yeah. yeah so it's so crazy oh my god yeah. i'm just meeting so many amazing <laughs> people right now this is so awesome <laughs> see law of attraction it's happening oh girl. my god it it's is. really like i believe in it i'm sorry crying <laughs> <laughs> but this oh, time with so happy tears <laughs> that's good happy yeah. tears yeah. <laughs> no I'm, I'm the same like it's it's so <laughs> oh my god but I cry all the time, so don't worry. <laughs> oh, you don't know me yet. <laughs> I'm not crying every day, I think. <laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> about everything. Uh, yeah, yeah, but um, it just, I like that because it's um, it kind of shows the true colors of a person, mm -hmm. you know? True. I like that. Yeah, if you can cry in front of others, yeah. it's kind of freeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Sure. It is. Because afterwards, if like I, I have to learn it sometimes mm -hmm. because I'm a single child so mm -hmm. I was alone a lot by myself okay. um, which of course I love my parents they did an amazing job but of mm -hmm. course they had to work so I was a lot by myself so I'm not used to really sharing my emotions mm -hmm. or my feelings with others and mm -hmm. I like to always keep it to myself okay. or whatever happens in my life I really struggle to tell other people mm -hmm. about it because I feel like no one cares <laughs> or no one really <laughs> right yeah it's so hard to and oh my god we just noticed that the camera went out it's so bad but i was crying i don't know if it's still in there <laughs> but then we said that it's so important to oh no it's good to share emotions with other people mm -hmm. like crying for example mm -hmm. because it's kind of free mm -hmm. and then you said that <laughs> just doing everything again <laughs> then you said that out. um um you were kind of a little bit alone when you were a child um, because yeah single mm -hmm. child and stuff like that so you kind of build up a little barrier and didn't mm -hmm. want to show mm -hmm. the emotions to other people which I have too because mm -hmm. it's such a vulnerable thing to do yeah. um, just like opening up and letting yeah. anyone in it's hard like with mm -hmm. friends I can do it for sure mm -hmm. but then when it comes to like like lover or mm -hmm. stuff like more emotional like yeah. deeper it takes time. But if it's so hard for me mm -hmm. to let people inside. Um I 
I have the same as well, mm -hmm. but also because of we're not gonna talk bad about guys right now. No, nope. but a little bit. It has to be there. <laughs> a little bit. Because before I met the guy I'm with right now, I really only, okay, in the same 90% of the time, had negative experiences with guys. Oh. So it was so hard. The moment I trusted someone, that guy just broke my heart, like mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. You know? So, mm, and it kind of also interacts with my family issues and all of that stuff so we just spoke about this one book which you can probably link down below because i don't know how you call it in english if there is an english version of it because i also have the german one okay but in that book it kind of talks about um how crazy uh or how much the way you you used to live in the past affects the way you are today Mm -hmm. So if you're, as a child, for example, five years old and something very dramatic happens to you and maybe you're not aware of it anymore because mm -hmm. you are so young. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The way you react uh, to specific situations 20 years later might have been triggered by the thing that happened to you, mm -hmm. to you 20 years before. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we think or we say things or we act in a specific way and we even don't know mm -hmm. why we are like why, that. Yeah. Some maybe people have that control. Yeah, maybe that's why we cannot grasp our thoughts when we're angry or sad or whatever. And then, because we we yeah. don't even know, like, how mm -hmm. should we express it mm -hmm. and explain it to others? Mm -hmm. Yeah, crazy. All right, my plate is like pretty much done. <laughs> I'm sure you do. That's all right. <laughs> we're just gonna end it here. It was really nice rambling mm -hmm. talking with you about it. Maybe you found something that resonates with you, helps you. I hope so. And we can do this again for sure. Yes, if you like it, let me know. And yeah, have a nice day. See you again next time here Bye. on my channel. <laughs>